NASA's Perseverance rover survived a heart-pounding seven-month trek to Mars, spotting methane, a signature of life on Earth. Then it found something that shocked scientists to their core. Is this finally proof of alien life? Let's dive in. NASA's Curiosity rover landing was an unprecedented triumph, achieved through a daring, untested aerial crane system that gently lowered the one-ton vehicle onto Mars using jet-powered cables high above Gale Crater. This site, centered by the colossal Mount Sharp, serves as a time capsule revealing Mars's watery past. Its lower rock layers hold water-formed minerals, transitioning upward to evidence of drying lakes, rivers, and eventual barrenness. Scientists view the rover as the key to unlocking this treasure trove. As soon as Curiosity landed, it got to work immediately. It began taking pictures, checking its equipment, and exploring its surroundings. The worry that Martian dust might damage its equipment turned out to be unfounded. Everything worked perfectly, and Curiosity was ready for its adventure. One of its most impressive tools is a laser beamer called ChemCam. It can fire lasers at rocks and read the reflected light to determine their composition. The first test was conducted on a rock called Coronation, and the laser beam was so hot it could momentarily outshine the surface of the sun. However, Curiosity didn't just fire lasers, it drilled. The Curiosity rover dug into rock, collected soil samples, and even heated samples in its onboard furnace. One of the biggest surprises was methane. Not a lot, but enough to be surprising. On Earth, methane usually means life. Microorganisms deep underground, crawling to their jobs, or even decaying plants. But on Mars, no one knows for sure. It could be from long-buried vanished life forms, or it could simply be the planet's own chemical reactions. Either way, it's a mystery that's forcing scientists to rethink everything they know. Methane on Mars, sign of ancient alien microbes, or just rocky chemistry. What's your gut feeling, life or no life? Comment and chat with me. That methane puzzle is just the start. As Curiosity climbed, it found proof of rivers and lakes that could hide microbial survivors, but sharp rocks were ready to end the mission early. As Curiosity climbed higher, it continued to find more evidence that Mars once had lakes and rivers. Imagine a planet where water once flowed freely, filling ancient valleys and leaving its mark on rocks billions of years ago. Mars could be a place where life had a chance of surviving, not tiny green aliens, but rather microscopic organisms that thrive in harsh environments. On Earth, Curiosity painted a picture of a world that once teemed with life in ways never before imagined. Of course the journey wasn't always smooth. Mars wasn't very pleasant for Curiosity's wheels. Sharp rocks tore through them, leaving holes and cracks. Engineers had to be creative, adjusting the rover's movement, finding less dangerous routes, and keeping it running longer than its original mission duration. Curiosity was built to last. Years passed but it continued to operate powerfully, exceeding expectations and making discoveries along the way. Even before Curiosity left Earth, NASA conducted rigorous tests on it. Engineers put it through extreme conditions to ensure every component was functioning correctly. Its components were designed to withstand the worst of what Mars could offer. Despite being tested at extremely high speeds, its radar system flew over Mars, the deserts resembled those on Earth, and every part of the rover underwent rigorous testing, repeatedly retested. When the time came, all that preparation paid off. Curiosity not only survived but thrived, paving the way for future missions like Perseverance, currently on Mars searching for signs of ancient life. Fifteen years after launch, Curiosity is still rolling across the red planet, exploring its secrets. One rock at a time, it is not just a machine, but a pioneer. Each time it drills into the Earth, or shines a laser beam on a rock, it brings us closer to understanding a world millions of miles away. Even in its early days, it literally left its mark as it rolled across the dusty surface. Its wheels imprinted the letters JPL in Morse code. Beyond finding water or organic compounds, the rover also uncovered isotopic clues to catastrophic climate change and organic molecules resembling ancient cell fragments that suggest something much deeper. If you want to see it, 
I've also added a direct link to it in the pinned comment below this video. And don't forget to come back, the next discovery is about the rocks on Mars that hold the key to life. The rocks on Mars hold the key to life. Curiosity's robotic arm is a crucial part of its success. Equipped with tools, like its handheld camera and alpha particle X-ray spectrometer, it's a mobile laboratory capable of analyzing rocks and soil with incredible detail. One of its early targets was a rock called Jake Matajevich, named after a NASA engineer. Analysis showed the rock was of volcanic origin and likely formed under water conditions. These findings are significant because they provide clues about whether the planet may have once supported life. Over time, Curiosity's discoveries have painted a clearer picture of Gale Crater. Rivers once flowed into an ancient lake there, leaving behind layers of rock and sediment that preserve the history of these ancient waterways. The rover's onboard laboratory studied the thin atmosphere and found evidence that it was much thicker billions of years ago. A denser atmosphere may have kept liquid water on the surface, but over time solar winds swept it away, leaving the dry, cold world we see today at Yellowknife Bay. Curiosity found rocks with features suggestive of a watery past, including small spherical structures called concretions. On Earth, these are typically formed when water moves through sediments, leaving behind mineral deposits. Some scientists even speculate that similar features here were created by microbial life. Could this planet have once been inhabited by living organisms? This is an intriguing possibility that scientists are continuing to investigate. Tap the like button to let us know this content is making a difference. And if you're watching on your phone, be sure to press the hype button right below. Microbial whispers in ancient rocks got us hooked. Yet solar alignment cut off all contact for weeks, leaving curiosity to drill solo. What secrets did it uncover alone before the big reveal? In 2013, the planet moved away from the sun, from Earth's perspective, cutting off communication for about a month. NASA prepared for this by programming Curiosity with a list of tasks to be completed automatically. Even without direct intervention, the probe continued to drill into the rock and capture detailed images as it climbed higher on the summit of Mount Sharp. It revealed more about the geological history. The layers of the mountain acted as a time capsule, showing how the environment had changed over billions of years. Lower layers showed signs of water activity, while higher layers showed a transition to a drier and colder climate. Curiosity's findings reshaped our understanding of Mars. It confirmed that the planet once had the conditions necessary to support life, although no direct evidence of life has yet been found. The probe has also provided invaluable data on Mars's atmosphere, weather patterns, and surface processes. Each discovery brings us closer to answering the big question, did life ever exist on Mars, and what does the planet's future hold? Even after 15 years, Curiosity shows no sign of stopping, its instruments remain in good condition, and its mission continues to inspire scientists and engineers. As it climbs higher on Mount Sharp, the probe is laying the groundwork for future missions that may one day yield discoveries. From sending humans to Mars, the Red Planet still holds many mysteries, but thanks to Curiosity, we are closer than ever to exploring them. Each stage of Curiosity's journey, from navigating rugged rocky terrain, to analyzing ancient lake beds, has written a new chapter in the story of Mars. Whale Rock, for example. This geological formation shows how water ripples slowed down as the planet moved along. Flowing into an ancient lake, it leaves behind layers of sediment. These alluvial deposits, accumulated over tens of millions of years, reveal a recurring cycle of lakes filling and drying, rivers forming roads, and a Martian climate fluctuating between periods of drought and wetness. Each discovery is like a piece of a puzzle, gradually completing the picture of a planet far more dynamic than we ever imagined. Curiosity's journey isn't just about rocks and soil. It's also about understanding the risks future astronauts might face by measuring radiation levels. The rover helps scientists assess the challenges of human exploration. Its weather station records temperature, wind and humidity, providing an overview of daily life on Mars. This data is crucial for planning future missions and ensuring the safety of astronauts who may one day set foot on the Red Planet. The rover's cameras have also captured breathtaking Martian landscapes. Panoramic images show rust-colored hills in the distance. The mountains and endless sky create a sense of vastness. These images remind us why we explore, to see what awaits out there, to push the boundaries of our own world. Curiosity's mission is a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance, proving that there is always more to learn. Mars may be a harsh and distant world, but through Curiosity's eyes it is a wondrous place full of endless discoveries. As the rover continues its journey, it constantly discovers new things, 
and inspires us to continue reaching for the stars. The work that Curiosity began has paved the way for a new probe, which will explore even more and look deeper into Mars. Perseverance is a bold hunt for life. Mars is one of the places that has captured the human imagination for decades. We've gazed at the red planet through telescopes, sent orbiters to take pictures, and even landed some pretty advanced robots there. But let's be honest, no mission has really generated as much attention as NASA's Perseverance probe. This car-sized probe wasn't just sent to take pictures or wander aimlessly. It's fully equipped with instruments and a mission to delve into Mars's past, the ultimate goal being to find out if life ever existed on this dusty, rusty world, and perhaps even to pave the way for it. The path for humans to set foot there one day has become a reality. The Perseverance probe launched from Florida on July 30,000. Imagine preparing for a journey so long that it took seven months just to reach its destination, and that destination was nearly 300 million miles away. That's the distance Perseverance had to travel through the cold, empty expanse of space. When it finally reached Mars on February 18, 2021, it landed in the Jezero Crater, a location that scientists were incredibly excited about. Why? Because millions, even billions of years ago, the Jezero Crater may have been a lake, water being synonymous with life, at least on Earth. So, this location seemed perfect for searching for traces of ancient microorganisms on Mars. Let's talk about the probe itself. It's huge, weighing over 1,000 kilos, and nearly 3 meters long, Essentially, it's a mobile laboratory. Cameras, lasers, drills, and even microphones, Perseverance has it all. These tools aren't just for show. They're designed to scan, analyze, and collect rocks and soil on Mars. But what's remarkable is that those samples don't even stay on Mars. They're packed into tiny sealed tubes, so that a future mission can collect them and bring them back to Earth. That's right, it would take a lot of effort to transport Martian soil across space, because thorough research could ultimately tell us whether Mars ever had life. And let's not forget Perseverance's companion, Ingenuity. This tiny helicopter accompanied the probe and became the first aircraft to fly on another planet when it took off on April 19, 2021. It was a groundbreaking moment. Mars's atmosphere is incredibly thin, only about 1% as dense as Earth's, making flight extremely difficult, but Ingenuity succeeded, demonstrating that future missions could use drones to scout the terrain, or even help astronauts navigate this alien world. Now back to the main story. With Jezero Crater in its center, Perseverance has been busy exploring this ancient lake bed, examining its river channels, plains, and crater rim. Every rock it studies, every specimen it collects, adds another piece to the puzzle of Martian history. In July 2024, it found a red rock with strange spots that scientists nicknamed Chayava Falls. These spots sparked excitement because they could indicate ancient microbial life. But as always, science progresses slowly, and more testing is needed to confirm anything. While the search for life is fascinating, perseverance is not just looking back at the past, but also testing technologies that could be crucial for future human missions. For example, MOXIE, a device that converts Mars's carbon dioxide atmosphere into oxygen. This is a huge step forward because it shows we may not need to transport tons of oxygen from Earth when humans finally establish a base on the Red Planet. Perseverance's journey hasn't been without its challenges. Mars is a harsh place with freezing temperatures, dust storms, and rugged terrain that even the most powerful SUVs struggle to navigate, but this rover is built to withstand it. It has climbed over rocks, navigated difficult slopes, and survived conditions where most machinery on Earth would have been destroyed. Every day it spends on Mars is proof of the engineering feats that went into building it. Then there's the communication issue. Perseverance can't just pick up the phone and call home. Signals from Mars take between 5 and 20 minutes to reach Earth, depending on the planet's location. This delay means the rover must be fairly independent, using onboard computers to make real-time decisions. Deciding where to go and what to do is like giving a robot the freedom to explore an entire planet, a combination of thrill and tension for scientists on Earth. One of the most exciting aspects of the Perseverance mission is its role in the upcoming project to collect samples from Mars. NASA and the European Space Agency are collaborating to collect sealed tubes of Martian rock and soil. The plan is to send another spacecraft to Mars to collect samples and bring them back in the early 2030s. If all goes well, these samples could answer some of the biggest questions we've ever asked about Mars. 
did it ever have life? What does its geology tell us about the planet's history? And perhaps most importantly, what does this mean for the possibility of life existing elsewhere in the universe? Perseverance's contributions extend beyond science and technology. They have captured the public imagination. People around the world have followed its journey, cheering on Ingenuity's flights and marveling at the stunning images and sounds sent back from Mars. It's a reminder that even in a challenging world, humanity can achieve incredible things as we head toward the stars, or in this case, another planet. As Perseverance continues its mission, it is paving the way. This is the path that will usher in the next era of exploration. Its data will guide future missions, whether robotic or human, and help us prepare for the monumental task of living on another world, whether that's searching for traces of ancient life or testing survival technologies. This rover is laying the groundwork for humanity's next giant leap forward, and who knows, perhaps one day humans will stand in the crater of Jezero, looking down at the tracks left by this incredible machine, and pondering how it all began. As Perseverance discovers more on Mars, the planet's oddities continue to baffle scientists. The magnetic field trajectory left by Mars. Mars has always been our strange neighbor in the solar system, full of surprises that leave scientists scratching their heads. One of the biggest questions is about methane on Earth. This gas usually comes from living organisms or geological activity, but on Mars, no one can be sure. Methane concentrations are also unstable, appearing and disappearing, almost as if the planet is teasing us with clues. Some people believe it comes from microorganisms lurking beneath the surface, while others blame natural chemical reactions. However, the lack of a clear answer leaves you wondering what's really going on beneath the dust there. Then there were the strange plumes of smoke discovered in 2012. At an altitude of 155 million meters above the surface, they were too high for typical weather patterns, possibly dust storms or auroras, but no one has yet determined the cause. Whatever the cause of these aerial phenomena, it is certainly unusual and raises many questions about the strange features of Mars's atmosphere. Speaking of strange things, let's look at the structures known as spiderwebs, found in southern regions. These bizarre spiderweb-like shapes appear when ice carbon dioxide sublimes, creating strange grooves in the soil. It sounds simple, but the exact process is still not fully understood. Why does the ice behave this way, and why only in certain places? The answer remains elusive, and these spiderweb-like shapes are just another reminder that Mars likes to keep its questions to itself. And what about Mars's twin personality? Its northern hemisphere is all smooth flats, while its southern half is rugged and full of craters. It's like looking at two different planets colliding. Scientists suspect a massive collision billions of years ago may be the culprit, but evidence is scarce. If that really happened, why hasn't any more evidence been found? The planet's history seems to be written in code, a code we haven't yet deciphered. Mars's magnetic field, or magnetic deficiency, is another perplexing question. Instead of a protective shield like Earth's, Mars has scattered magnetic points across its crust. This suggests the planet once had a global magnetic field, but it mysteriously disappeared billions of years ago. Why did it disappear? And what does that mean for any life that might have existed there? It's a haunting question that no one can answer. Then there's the mystery of the seasonal dark streaks on the Martian slopes, known as the recurring slope linea. They appear during the warmer months and fade as the weather cools. Initially, it seemed that flowing water could explain them, but newer studies lean toward the hypothesis of dry particles sliding across. In any case, these streaks don't fit any known explanation, leaving scientists to guess. We also can't forget the enormous dust clouds detected by the MAVEN spacecraft. These clouds hover at altitudes ranging from 93 to 10,086 miles, defying all predictions in such a thin atmosphere. What created the dust at that altitude, and why? This is just another unanswered question about Mars that continues to baffle experts. Mars may be our closest neighboring planet, but it's anything but simple. From its peculiar atmosphere to its unexplained geological features, the red planet continues to challenge everything we thought we knew. Could these questions be clues to past life, mysterious processes, or something entirely unexpected? One thing is certain, Mars isn't easily revealing the answers. Is TRS, the rhythm Mars, truly a barren wasteland, or could this footage hint at life? NASA isn't ready to confirm. Share your thoughts, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos.